Hi, I'm the woodpecker today. I'm making a tow bar for my sled. Yes, because René and I spent six days at the cottage and the only way to come here in winter <laughs> is with a snowmobile. So I needed a tow bar. When I ride on my snowmobile for only a day or a couple of hours, a backpack tied to the back of the snowmobile is enough. But when I go with René for several days, I need more space than that. This idea came to me when I was bringing firewood inside the house. Why not use this sturdy sled? It's not a kid's sled, but something way sturdier. Have a look. Its greatest quality is those two spots to attach a tow bar. I'm going to use them. I just need to make a tow bar now. It will look mm, a little bit like this. The red spots will be made out of metal. <laughs> but getting to my stack of metal plates mm, is not that easy. After a couple of minutes, I can see the plates. But I need to do a little bit of ice sculpting here. Finally, I can grab the piece I had in mind. I'm set with metal. Now it's time to think about the wooden part. I'm going to use this piece that I've already jointed. Any excuse is good to play with my new tool. I rip three strips and take care of the two smaller pieces. Now it's time to cut two strips of metal. Ever since I set fire to my bansa dust while I was grinding in the shop, I don't cut metal inside anymore. Since that day, I always have goosebumps when I see someone grinding inside his wood shop. But before going any further, I need to change the aspect of the end of the small pieces. Using them as guide, I trace the shape that the metal strips should have and cut them. After finding out the size of the stretcher, I cut it. But before moving on, I epoxy the strips onto the small pieces. In fact, this is just to keep them in place when I'll drill the holes. I leave this aside and take care of the triangular part of the tow bar. First thing to do is to cut one end at an angle. Then with both pieces in place, I trace the shape of each arm onto the other. I can use this marking to figure out the angle and cut it. This is perfect, I just need to glue all of this. When the glue is dry, I cut the tip and glue the bottom in place. This is perfect. <laughs> it's just a shame I goofed up. And this is useless. You will see that later on. While the glue dries, I drill the holes on the pieces I left aside. I begin with small holes and drill them again to the right size.
after pounding the carriage bolts in place, I can tighten the nuts. And it's then that I realize that I've goofed up. The triangle is not wide enough. I need to redo this. Again, I need to wait for the glue to dry. I use this opportunity to glue the rest together. Anyway, since I need to wait for one glue up to dry, <laughs> two won't make any difference. When the glue is dry enough, I cut the tip and trace the shape of all the gullets and cut them. <laughs> Just like last time, I epoxy them in place. I need to wait for the epoxy to cure before drilling the holes. Nah, but I'm not totally done. I still have six more carriage bolts to install. All done with the bolts. But since I've used what I had on hand, some of them are too long. I need to cut them. Then I cut the excess wood at the tip. <laughs> this is not a woodworking tool, and it shows. I also use the grinder to remove the sharp corners. I need a slot so I can hook this sign to the snowmobile. To remove the sharp corners, I use a metal file. <laughs> there is no way in the world that I would use my nice rasps near those metal plates. Using the same file, I make sure the metal corners are smooth. Finally, my toe bar is finished. I just need to brush a coat of metal paint on it. Nah, this is probably not necessary, but it covers the rust. Now I can put my tow bar on the sled. Ah, it's quite easy. The other end goes over the snowmobile hitch. That's it. We just have to fill it up with our stuff and go toward a special week vacation at the cottage. This was my homemade tow bar for my snowmobile. Maybe I've inspired you to make your own. And see you soon for another episode of The Woodpecker.